That's wild. Dude, we we're gonna get some some action tonight if it's like this. Stars already. Yeah, good stuff. That's a big sky. Like the colors are crazy. When you think about a challenge, you think about an end goal. Something great that you want to achieve. The challenge is, how do I get there? And what are the steps that I need to take in order to meet that goal? And oftentimes they're unknown, but you just know that you're taking these steps in the process because you want something to happen. So I didn't know this couple at all. All I knew is that they were coming from Singapore and they wanted a northern cold kind of feel to their session. So I got a couple who I don't really know, who I need to make feel comfortable in the freezing cold when it's dark out and I'm using a piece of gear that I'd never used before. Immediately in my head, I was like, all right, well that's pretty challenging. And if that doesn't motivate you to like deliver, then I'm not too sure what will. Embrace it. The tough stuff looks good. It just doesn't feel very fun at the time, maybe. But it is true. I mean, it's hard to get couples' heads wrapped around that because they're the ones freezing. But I mean, my favorite stuff has always been when the conditions have been brutal. I mean, this was challenging at every single turn. It was really cold and really, really dark. That was no shock to anybody because we were going well above the Arctic Circle in the first week of January. So there was limited light and we knew, you know, we had to act fast. Okay, now run back to the car, it's cold. <laughs> so being able to, you know, utilize a zoom lens in that scenario was a huge asset because we didn't really have too much flexibility. <laughs> and that's the challenge because you gotta figure it out really quickly. They literally traveled around the world to get a picture under the Northern Lights. They think we're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> And so you try something new, you try a piece of gear, and for the first time it's sort of an exhilarating yes, uh, feeling seeing that, okay, this actually makes my life easier and the results are better. All right, this will look good now. But I like the zoom, because it actually is easier to work like this. You can change your compositions whenever you want <laughs> without changing lenses. And it's so cold, I don't want to get my hands out of my gloves and change lenses around, so. <laughs> Adapting to something new was a challenge, but it was a welcome one and a welcome surprise that this lens performed so well in such a such a brutal, brutal set of conditions. When I think about this couple, they were awesome. I mean, they knew that the conditions were tough. It was cold for them and not comfortable at times, but they just went for it. And so, I mean, they were troopers. We are we're ready. so ready. Yeah, it's not quite anymore. Dog sledding didn't hurt anyone, right? We're going dog sledding, husky sledding. So I think when they look back on the experience overall, they're gonna love it. <laughs> I don't have any tricks up my sleeve. I simply take photos of what I see in front of me. But the challenge is being there and being present and being attentive to what's going on during the day. And if I can do that, there'll be a good story being told. Wow, that is insane. Yeah, that's good stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> I think if you add up why I like this type of photography, it's those kind of moments. Seeing couples that are super stoked with the experience overall, just like this couple was, I mean, that's what makes it all worthwhile. I mean, if you're not doing things that are difficult, how are you moving forward with your life? So the essence of challenge to me is doing something where you don't know if what you're doing is the right or wrong thing, but you're working towards something because the unknowns within the challenge are what are going to move you forward.